All right, if you're like me and you went out and you bought one of these pressure washers, not even the Predator one, maybe another cheaper model, something that doesn't have a, a really good pump on it. I mean, it's a decent pump. But anyways, this pump, the unloader valve here, is built into the pump. And it does not have an option to dump the water on the ground or back into your buffer tank to keep the pump cold. So water comes in and water goes out. That's it. There's no third option to, you know, when you let off the trigger, water's not going to dump. The water just stays in the pump and gets hot and you'll burn the pump up if you let it run for like two, three minutes without pulling on the trigger. So right now, whenever I got to change out my chemical from soap to, to my bleach, I have to run back to the trailer as fast as I can, run back, you know, because the whole time this pump's running and it's getting hot. So by hooking up an external unloader valve right here, get this on Amazon for 60 bucks. I'm going to leave the link in the description if you want to go in there and add this to your Amazon cart. I highly recommend it because you're going to save your pressure washer pump from getting hot. It comes just like you see here, except it does not come with these fittings. But most of us have these laying around, and if you don't, I'll leave a link to these too. And um, so anyways, you want to put Teflon tape on all your fittings, plug them in, tighten them up. And so anyways, I'll explain it to you. This one is your out. So it tells you right on there. There's out, and this one says in. So this plugs into your pressure washer. This is where your hose plugs in. And then this right here, this T here, you can put this on either side. I could unplug it from here and put it on this side. Just take that Allen key out. But this is the side I put it on. And this is where that water will dump out. It'll blow that water on the ground or back into your tank, wherever you have it routed, whenever you let off the trigger. When you push on the trigger, there shouldn't be any water coming out it'll stop so let's go ahead and install this and show you guys how it works something to keep in mind is this unloader valve here is already set from the factory so you might want to get a pressure gauge there's a pressure gauge right here I got this on Amazon too I'll leave a link to it but um if you get a pressure gauge Plug that in first before before you put this unloader valve on and get your pressure set to where you want it because whatever you have your original loader valve set this is the one we're, we're using the original loader valve is the one we're using for pressure the secondary one we're just using it to dump the water so we're gonna set this one lower than the original one so this one here will be set lower than this original one so you choose what you want your pressure to be. That's totally up to you. I got mine set at about 2,800. You don't need 4,400 PSI to clean. You end up breaking stuff and destroying property. So, anyways, I'm showing you how I'm hooking it up here. So, this side plugs right in. I do it one handed. And then this one is my main reel line. Man, it's hard to do it one handed, guys. So this one is going back to my hose reel. And then, of course, my garden hose is hooked to my buffer tank. And that's something else. A lot of people say that this pressure washer won't draw from a tank. It probably won't if it was sitting up there. But being that it's gravity fed, it works just fine. And I'm going to put another video on to show you guys how I know that it works. I did a test on it. I'll have to put that video up another time. Anyways, now for this valve right here is where the water is going to dump. So I just got an old garden hose here. It's like a six foot piece. So throw one in there and I put a quick connect on this end and plug this in if I can one-handed 
All right, let's test this out. So what we want is when I pull on that trigger, we don't want no water coming out. When I let off the trigger, we want to see water coming out. And that means that the pump is staying cold. So here we go. y'all hope this video is going to help somebody out you'll definitely save your pump and if you want to know how i rigged all this up i can do that in another video just comment below and i'll definitely make one for you and show you how i did it all but the reason why i did the buffer tank is uh i live around a bunch of mobile homes and well water pressure around here is not very good I get like three gallons per minute out of the the spigot back there so I kind of had to go this route but if you live in the city and you got city water and newer homes you probably don't need a buffer tank with a small pressure washer but all right y'all see ya